Hi, everyone. <clears throat> um, so I am deep conditioning my hair uh, as we speak. So we'll see what the outcome is going to look like. I'm deep conditioning with um, intense conditioner from patterns. And it was a sample. So I decided to uh, go with the deep conditioning aspect. Okay, I am here because I want to talk about Naomi. I want to talk about Naomi because Ava DuVernay is getting a TV show on the CW titled Naomi. Now, I want you to pause for a second because the CW is going to uh, currently has some TV shows and um, it has Batwoman. I'm talking about the current season, spring 2021. It has Batwoman um, who is, I think the series is on shaky ground. Uh, the first season, it's on its second season. The first season, um, it was, it, it, it was okay. It's pretty slow, not much happens. Um, and it's just strange when you have Batwoman and no Batman. And I know that I, I realize, and we've had discussions about why that is, it's just strange and I don't like it. <laughs> so there is that. Um, and then Batwoman, um, because she had injuries, she had a back injury, she didn't like the way she was being treated. So we have a new Batwoman who happens to be African-American. And now the old Batwoman wants back on the show. So, I mean, I, it's, granted, the new Batwoman is much palatable. They have a better storyline with the new Batwoman, but the fact that they left the first Batwoman able to kind of come in, they left the storyline very, very open for, for that person to be able to come back. And so it looks like it's a strong possibility that, uh, well, actually, no, they recasted the first Batwoman. So I don't think the original Batwoman's coming back. But anywho, the, the, the show is not very good. And I mean, it, it's, it's, it's better than Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow, I think, is the worst one on the the the. Show. Well, I don't know. I think it's a it's a toss between Legends of Tomorrow and Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois is supposed to be its prize person. Superman is um, the Superman and Superman and Lois is not the same Superman who was in uh, Supergirl. I don't know why. Superman, oh, I know why. Let me take it back. Superman and Superman and Lois is different and Lex Luthor is different than the one who's in Supergirl. I think we are going into the realm of the different Earths. And, um, and so therefore, Superman and Lois should not be happening at the same on the same earth as uh, Supergirl. Anywho, so Supergirl is on its last leg. This is its last season. So we shall see what happens. Um, and, and, and Supergirl to me is a nice folksy, cheesy show. And then I like Supergirl, actually. I think she it's one of my favorite ones. It started off on Channel 2, and then Channel 5 picked it up. Channel 2, it wasn't a good fit for it. So Channel 5 is definitely a better fit. Now, The Flash is by far the better of all of these shows. And then Supergirl, I think, is number two. So The Flash, it's on its last season. And now we see that The Flash has a son. And so... Um, from the future. So we had a, a daughter from the future. Now we have a son from the future. So we shall see how this goes. But I mean, let, let's be frank. 
this season is about balls to the wall. Uh, we don't do whatever and anything that we want to do because it's the last season. And what can they do? Cancel us? We're already gone. So, you know, there we are. Um, with that being the case. So I think when I say that, I mean it because the Flash, one Flash episode seems like it's a lot. <laughs> So in the past, they used to drag out these storylines. In this season, they're not dragging out any storylines. Like I, there's sometimes where I was like, oh, you're gonna catch the, the villain in this episode? And there's like 30 minutes left, okay. So we really are getting to the point much faster than we had in previous seasons. So that's, I guess, a positive or a negative. I don't know, whatever you take it as. Um, then we have Black Lightning. Now, Black Lightning has been always the stepchild, in my opinion, to all of these other shows uh, because uh, Black Lightning was never invited to the crossovers. And so, except this past crossover, there was finally invited to the crossover. Um, but now, Black Lightning is in its last season. And so, um, I, Black Lightning is by far, it's even better than The Flash, but when it comes to storyline, it's relatable, but there, but you can tell that they don't get the same kind of budget as The Flash, so some of their, um, special effects is kind of cheesy, uh, but it's a pretty interesting show and I, I really do like it. But that all being said, so 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 after season, after this season, we're losing three of the shows, which is Black Lightning, The Flash, Supergirl. So how does Naomi come into this? Because I was trying to figure out how are you guys going to incorporate Naomi and I'm going to struggle because I have a problem when we when the CW has a history of trying to incorporate all of these shows and then you're going to bring on the black show quote unquote and you're going to leave it hangling and dangling in the wind well I can now understand and now number two Ava DuVernay Ava DuVernay um she was supposed to be the director of Black Panther but she had her own vision. And so it's going to be kind of interesting to see uh, if she's going to incorporate her, vi her vision with being able to interconnect the you know, some of these characters because there is a CW DC universe. I think that, so, so half of me is like, you know what, if they don't connect, I guess I'm okay. I'm not okay, but I can live with it. Um, but then the other half of me is like, I can see where they're going to begin to connect. And Naomi, I can see the beginning of the connection is because she was born out of the crisis. And so I was like, oh, um, in the comics. But on the other hand, I can say, oh, we're going, we can connect this to the because she's a part of another earth and so I was like okay so we can really begin to connect this with the last crisis that they just that the the intergalactic crisis that they just had with the different earths and how they kind of merged into one earth which is why we now have a why I now kind of have a problem with um Superman and Lois but I, I just have to let it go. And what I think is going to take place here is that Naomi is one of the recipients of how this, uh, she, she gains her powers unbeknownst to her uh, be, uh, from her being the first child that was produced post um 
in uh, the crisis. So I can totally see how the effects of the crisis can now be Naomi's starting point, which would which would mean that if if they write it well, Ava DuVernay, then you can start us at the crisis and how her mom and dad, who are regular people on earth, had to fight um, her own, their own battles on the earth for survival and then had to send their child off to the earth that survived and was just raised as a regular Joe Schmo, just like Superman. So she, there's this parallel that she has to Superman, which is why she's so fascinated. And um, if you start us there, then you don't need a crossover, at least for the first season. And we wouldn't even ask for a crossover because we already see how it's already connected from her origin story. And I think that that would be a really cool, because the, I mean, really, when I first heard of this, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Is it going to, in my first mind, I was like, is this going to connect to Black Lightning? And really, this shouldn't connect to Black Lightning. It should connect to um, the crisis. And it should connect to all of them, per se. And especially since we're not going to get another, I, I, I question the fact that if we're, even though we're not going to get another Black Lightning, The Flash, or Supergirl, I wonder if they're not going to pop up as characters on some of these other shows. I think it could. But anyway, um, so... If should you get into KTLA's DC universe, or the CW? Sorry, um, I think you should. It's just that there's so many seasons now, so you really would have to um, kind of go through and watch them all. I've watched all of the seasons except I could not get through Legends of Tomorrow. I, I got through half the season of the first season and I was just like, okay, this is just too stupid and dumb and 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 poorly written for me to for me to follow. And then Arrow. I just could not get through Arrow and I and I hear and I know that many people said that I should and I just Arrow is just not, was not for me. Um, and if you like Batwoman, if you like Arrow, then you're really going to like Batwoman. And this is the reason why I struggled with Batwoman. It's because it's just so slow and dark. And I just, it, it just didn't work, but I can understand the attraction. Anyway, um, Black Lightning, I've, I've, I'm just kind of sad to see that Black Lightning is going, even though they're going to have their spinoffs. I'm sad to see it go because it didn't have as many seasons as the other ones before it left. So it's kind of strange. I think we're in what, season three or four, and it's already about to leave. And I'm like, wow, that's it's pretty quick. But we shall see how this goes. And I'm actually, the more that I think about it, the more I think that Naomi can become, it has a great potential to become a really, really good um, series. However, let me say something about the comic. Uh, I don't particularly care for it. <laughs> I think it's okay. Um, I think it's a lot going on and it's a lot to process. And I don't like when stories, especially when it comes to how she gets her powers and how she deals with all of this. I, 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 I like simplistic makes sense stories. I don't like where you have to do too many leaps 
for me to understand where the story is going and how the story is evolving. It just, it's a lot. So therefore, um, it's not one of my like go-to to say, oh, go out and like, it doesn't get me excited like Miles or Ironheart. Ironheart excites me to my T, you know, it excites me a lot. Naomi is cool. It doesn't, it doesn't excite me at all. But I also can see the potential of the story. And I think it's good for the CW to pick up because it seems so CW DC kind of show that I think that it would do really, really well on the CW. So if that, if that helps. Anyway, have a great afternoon. Bye.